Greetings to wherever you may be across the world. Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Now, for starters, I'm going to mention that I am not going to do the Excalibur 2 quest within this. That would definitely take too long for a Let's Play. Otherwise, I very likely will be doing just about everything else, but I'm not making any promises. So do keep that in mind. Let's get this show on the road. It's dark. Guess nobody's here yet. And so our adventure begins. And yes, I know, I sound nothing like how Zidane does in Dissidia. You're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm only one person, I can only do so many voices. Who's there? And I'm not changing any names. Everything is staying by its default. Zidane. It's me, Zidane! Hey Zidane, you sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? I ain't here yet. Derp. Oh well, that's cute. Five minutes into the game and already we've got a battle. And our party starts off with four thieves. A huge stealing opportunity indeed. This guy carries three items on him. It happens to be a potion, a wrist, and a mage masher. This might take me a while as the mage masher in particular is apparently difficult to get. However, this battle itself is not designed to be difficult, just intended to acquire a feel for everything. Now, I'll probably be cutting out most of the battles, but I will include at least a couple of the regular ones, just so that way you guys can at least have a chance to see what exactly kind of monsters appear in here for those of you who have never had a chance to play this. And I humbly request that to anybody who does decide to comment on these videos, 
Please do not post spoilers as there are people out there who watch Let's Plays on games that they have never played before. Wow, it really is taking a while. Thankfully, this guy sucks. Get some. Well, that's what we're trying to do, buddy. We're trying to get some treasure. Okay, and finally, the Mage Masher is now ours. So when the screen states doesn't have anything after using the thief skill, don't bother. However, if it states couldn't steal anything, that means that yes, they do still have items on them, so keep trying. This battle is ours. And it was a pig this whole time. What the? Oh my head, go easy, you guy. And everybody's panting away. You fool! You're looking a lot better. <laughs> all right, let's start this meeting already. You can already anticipate something ominous is about to occur by the music. Here's the plan. Tantulus, the infamous band of barren thieves that thus is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission is to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. Uh, they're all taken from here, so listen up. They're... Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're gonna put on our costumes, they're... And perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria, they're... Break a leg, Marcus, cause you're playing the lead, they're... Leave the acting to me. Of course the real kidnappers will be playing in Zidane. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand Oglops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Zidane. Okay. Now, obviously you're supposed to choose that's when I kidnap Princess Garnett, but you can choose that one for a funnier scene. You bet you're gonna kidnap the fat-ass ugly queen, but- Wait, what am I saying? Okay, obviously we're going to choose that one. You bet you're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet! Is anybody else excited yet?
we are within Alexandria. Are you all right? Here, you drop your ticket. Bye bye. Well, that was nice of her. Let's move on. Oh, jeez. Why, ya? Yeah, get out of my way. Sheesh, so freaking rude. Why don't we explore around a little? See what this place has to offer. And we received a potion. Although I would hardly call that receiving, that's more like stealing. And I need to configure a couple of things here. For instance... Hmm, movement should definitely be run. Field message could be a little faster, I guess. Here icon is annoying. I like that better. Target window. Meh. Alright, let's keep going. And here we have the Fang card, and in case some of you are wondering, yes, I will be playing the Tetra Master battle system within this game. Just... I'll probably cut out a lot of that stuff, because I doubt that any of you will actually care to see it. <laughs> this pattern is making me dizzy. No kidding. And speaking of getting dizzy, have any of you ever just stood at a corner of a building and then just looked up? It's crazy. You can actually get pretty dizzy just by doing that. And what do we have here? Another potion, and these will come in very useful soon enough. Our honorable nobles of Trino Castle, Alexandria is this way. Quack. Because that's what I am. Look at the way that I waddle. I look so stupid and everything. And in case you guys didn't get the hint, we're technically supposed to be following him, but screw that. Where's the fun in that? Why don't we s explore a little in here? I don't know why I'm depressed. I have a ticket to see a great show. I should be happy. Pfft, well, you've got issues, dude. I gotta get back to work! Yeah, I would hardly call what you're doing work. So here we have a flan card. And what's this? 27 gil. It doesn't seem like much, but for now, at this point in the game, it's pretty useful. And the pigeons don't even run away. Oh, okay, well now they do. And here we have a goblin card, and what in good heaven's name is this thing? Wow, noble, they're so fifty. Wait, and he's not pig. Yeah, whatever. Let's have a few more conversations in here. What do we got? Good afternoon. Okay, we don't need that junk for now. Wow, how'd you get a ticket for the show? You better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamped there before you can enter the castle. And here is the ever so obvious ticket booth. Can I help you, son? Uh, um... Well, I guess we might as well show the other dialogue options. Tell me about Alexandria! The Kingdom of Alexandria is a fine country ruled by Queen Bran. Or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Bran? Br brain? No, no, it can't be Brain, can it? That just sounds dumb. It has to be Bran. Bran, eh? Okay, if any of you know, please let me know in the comments, because I feel like such an idiot right now. What's showing today? 
This year's performance is the masterpiece I want to be your canary. The Tantulus Company is performing. So let's show him the ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake! I've seen so many today. No! <laughs> now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now, hmm? So we acquire a goblin card, bank card, and skeleton card. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. Okay, never mind. I thought that was something else. Okay, so let's explore a little more, shall we? What do you mean there's no vacancies? Oh crap, is that a chick? Whoops. <laughs> yes, you see, really quite sorry. What? I don't believe this! I have a reservation, damn it! Jeez! Yikes! City people are so scary! <sighs> and what do we have in here? Hmm. I keep mashing the X button, but nothing's happening. I guess there must not be anything in there. <laughs> What's your deal? Busy, busy, busy! Pardon me, sir, out of the way, please! Well, at least she's polite about it. Still, she looks freaking messed up. I don't know what is with these characters. <laughs> They're just disgusting some days. What's your deal? You wanna try? <laughs> So this is just some stupid game where you have to press the X button in order to jump over the rope. And you're supposed to be able to do it a certain amount of times and then you can acquire what I believe is a couple of cards. Anyways, I might have to cut a couple of these just out because I'm terrible at this. So hang on. Okay, after several failures, screw it. Just, just, just screw it. Just, just no, just... No, no, just no, no. Left it. Hey, you made me miss you, little cluck. Jeez, everybody's so mean to him. You, that should do it. Well, it's been a long day. What is he, like an anthropomorphic dog or something? Hey you shrimp, you're the one with the phony ticket, ain't ya? I saw the guy tell you it was a fake. I guess we should ask him. Are you Alleyway Jack? Do I look like that, loser? But I'll let you in to see my show if you become my slave. Okay, now normally I would never ever do this, but in order to progress, we're gonna have to say all right. All right. Awesome, now for your first assignment. You go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. All clear. Yeah, it's clear. Awesome, engage according to mission parameters. Over here. Don't fall behind and into the steeple. Well, screw you. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna explore around and rob people. <laughs> I just stole your eye drops, you little brat. Oh, and apparently we've met her before. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here, so screw it. Did I miss these areas? Yes, I did. Rooftops for masses. No nobility, no ticket, no problem. Enjoy the show from the rooftops. Assemble here by the steeple at sundown. 
Together, the people will prevail. Proletri- pro pro Damn it. Proletariat Patrons Movement. Okay, well, it wasn't really treasure per se, but something of interest. Let's see, what's your deal? Hey, kid, don't even think about trying to sneak into the castle by boat. I tried that last year, but then guards, they caught me lickety split. <laughs> yeah, you shut your trap. What's your deal? Like kitten mittens ran away. Tell me if you see him, okay? Okay, whatever. If I see him, I guess I'll let you know. <sighs> whatever. What's your deal? Them new fangled mist powered to ships float through the air, but true ships are supposed to float on water, right, Shunny? Uh we're getting out of here. Yeah, we're gonna climb up this tower. It's very dangerous, you can go first. Well thanks a lot, you big jerk. Is there anything back here? I can't even remember. It's been a while since I've played this game. Oh, what's this? A tent. Okay, now realistically speaking, that would never happen. Ow! Ah, what the heck was that? Sorry about that, Kubo! That's Kubo, he's a Mungo. Kubo! And this is slave number one. Try to get along, okay? Kubo, pleased to meet you! I'm sorry, I enter you in Moogle Diary! If you want to save game onto memory card, just ask us Moogles, Kubo! And you can regain health if you have a tent, Kubo! You understand? Yes, I understand, Sid. Glad I can help, Kubo! Alright, time for some upward mobility. Damn, you can climb fast. Okay, come on up, slave. Kapo, you here? Kapo, Stiltskin, why that get up? You leaving Kapo? Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Kapo. Now don't you worry, alright? Okay, Kapo. While I'm off, take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me! Kubo! Was that a friend of yours? Yes, Kubo! A very special one, Kubo! Hey, slave, I thought I ordered you up here. She's freaking bossy. Time to make record already, Kubo! Now there's this unique system within this game called Mognet. Basically, you're a delivery boy. Kapo, I'll tell you about Mognet. Mognet is a mail delivery system between Moogles. We can send and receive letters to and from Moogles in other locations, Kapo. But delivery has been very sporadic lately. So I want you to help us deliver mail, Kapo. Will you help us? Sure thing. There's quite an interesting reward for it. I have a favor to ask, Kubo! I want you to deliver a letter to Monty! Sure thing. Thanks, Kubo! And I guess we'll save. Although I'll probably be using save states. I suppose I might as well create a backup by making a real save like how you're supposed to. Even though I'm totally cheating. I should really fix this damn emulator because it gets all slow during some of these screens. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, let's go up here. Alright, the play's gonna start if we don't hurry. Come on, get over here! Let me guess, you're afraid of heights, aren't you? It's okay, just pretend you're on the ground. Already, we're running out of time. And 
of course, we're obviously going to explore a little. Not again. Don't worry, it won't fungo. Uh-huh. You were saying... <laughs> I guess it fell. No point in worrying now, right? Yeah, whatever you say, jerk. And what do we have here? 29 Giel. Not bad for this point in the game. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I don't even know your name. Keeping things by default. So your name's Vivi, huh? Kind of funny name. My name's Puck. Pleased to meet ya. Now obviously we're supposed to be following him, but... Wait a minute. Is this even... There we go. There's stuff to explore. We cannot miss this opportunity because this is the only time. Although it's not really anything too great. But like I said, for this point in the game it's not bad. We need all the gear that we can get. It will actually come in very handy throughout several points in the game. Phew! We finally made it! After this wall, we'll be inside the castle. Come on, let's go! What a frickin' ugly piece of disgusting chunkazoidus crap. Has she frickin' called Jenny yet? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a long story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crosses swords with the king. And now your royal majesty, Queen Bran, your highness, Princess Garnet. Noble ladies and lords, in our rooftop view of Tantulus, proudly presents, I want to be a canary. Bereft of father, Marcus, thou hast... Okay, stop going so damn fast. But what shall we do? be for the sake of our friend, let us bury steel in the heart of the- Okay, I can't read that fast, I'm sorry. I don't know why the hell they did it so quickly. We shall be back, the king's them. Pray she thighs to- Okay, no, screw it, I'm not doing this. This is going way too fast, I didn't do this. You guys can read this yourselves. I'm sorry, I would love to do voice acting for this, but the game's being retarded. 
and I, I can't access the menu to be able to do this. And you guys know the drill. Oh wait, never mind. I guess we'll show off these interesting little skills that we only get to see just this once. But they're obviously not doing anything, so let's just get rid of them. It's just a neat little thing that they just decided to throw in, I guess. And once again, this battle is intended to be very simple. Sucker. Losers. So much, a bunch of sparkling pretty lights. <laughs> Thou has not seen the last of me, Marketh. Come back. Out of the way, Plank. Consider this, Sedan. If Prince Snyder were to marry Princess Cornelia, he would reign over both their kingdoms. Tis foolishness! If all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world? Not a bad point, Sedan. Aha! 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 Guard. Expect no quarter from me! Okay, now a little scene is coming up here in which you're supposed to be able to press the buttons in accordance to what they're telling you. Let's see if I can actually do this. I hope I can. To follow Blank's lead, enter the correct commands from the following choices. Great. So far, I'm not doing too bad. Damn it. Finish this later. Come back here. Of the 100 nobles watching, 63 were impressed. Okay, so I did better than average, I guess. Oh, but that chunkazoid woman was not impressed. The audience seemed to like it. Perform the fight scene again. 
Okay, now I know that you guys probably don't want to see this, so I'm going to do this off-screen. But yes, I will perform the fight scene again. Just impress that retard. Is that the best thou canst do? Die, traitor! Okay, so I managed to only screw up once. Let's see how good this was. Out of the 100 nobles watching, 77 were impressed. And that Shuckazoid Freetard was once again not impressed. Okay, hold on, folks. Just hold on. Okay, so I did everything perfectly this shot. Out of the 100 nobles watching, 94 went grip. What? How could that woman still not be freaking impressed? I did it perfectly. <sighs> freaking fat sack of crap wants it to be sugar-coated, doesn't she? Okay, so the crowd showered us with 866 gil, and it is my understanding that the better fight scene you did, the more gil you occur, or you gain, or whatever. <laughs> Finish changing Zidane. Yeah, but this helmet... It kinda smells. What are you talking about? My helmet totally reeks. My armor's way too big. And my back's real itchy. The boots are wet. My gloves are all slimy. There's cookie crumbs in my pocket. Okay, I get the picture. You still have the package, right? Don't worry, I won't screw up. Alright, first I'll go pour some sleep potion into Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special something for the lovely queen. Lovely queen. <laughs> They're sleeping so soundly. According to Reckon, the royal seats should be right above these stairs. Got it! Uh-oh. The scene where Marcus sneaks into Cornelius' chamber is about to start. Let's get this over with before the finale, okay? Well, sure thing. And this seems like a good episode to wrap it up. Or a good point to wrap it up, rather. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.